Welcome to Spock, an effective absence management solution for Slack. To get started, let's open our workspace. You can find Spock in the sidebar. It's in the app section at the very bottom, but if you can't see it, there's really no need to worry. Just click the plus icon right here, then search Spock and click the first option. Now that we're all on the same page, I can show you exactly how it all works. Spock has three main tabs, Home, Messages, and About. All the tools you'll need can be found right here in the Home tab, which is divided into three separate sections. You've got your primary actions here at the top, a list of absences right here in the middle, and your secondary actions at the very bottom. If you'd like to request a leave, simply click on this button. Our first step is to select the leave duration. You can have a one-day leave, a half-day, or even multiple days. So let's say we're having a multiple-day leave this time around. The next step is to select your leave type. The green check mark indicates which ones are currently available to you. We're going to go on a vacation. After that, you simply have to select when your vacation starts and ends. So let's pretend that we're going straight away today and the vacation will end on a Friday at the end of the week. The last option you've got available is the ability to write a note for your colleagues. So you can just use this to let them know what you'll be up to while you're away. Time away at the cottage. Perfect. Once you've got everything filled out, you can click the request leave button and it will be sent out for approval or accept it instantly, depending on the settings that your organization currently uses. As you can see, the leave has been successfully registered. You can delete your leaves at any time before they are accepted or rejected. You can also view your balances. This is a section that shows you exactly which leave types are currently available to you and how many days you have left. It also gives you info about how many days you've already spent this year out of your total yearly allowance. If you'd like to look at your current leaves, head on over here. You'll instantly see that the leave we registered earlier on appears in this section. We can delete it at any time by clicking the delete button right here. Just confirm your choice, and as you can see, it will instantly disappear. The last two things I want to show you are Subscribe Calendar, which allows you to integrate Spock with a calendar application of your choice. Your calendar app will most likely ask you to confirm this decision, so just do that, and from that point on, you'll be able to see all of your colleagues' leaves pop up. The next button over is our Feedback button. Here you can fill out a form and send us any thoughts and ideas you may have about our app. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us for part 1 of our onboarding tutorial. In part 2, we'll show you how to use Spock's dashboard to unlock the full potential of our app. For now, thank you for your attention, and see you soon.